Rogers over the free kick. Just having a word with Cleary. And leaves it for Cleary to lift it for this a, a training ground routine. Looking for Dane Massey. Ethan Boyle hasn't dealt with that particular header all that impressively. Benson on to it. Good control from Benson. Shut out there by Ethan Boyle. Massey prods it across the edge of the penalty area. Graham Burke picked up a knock. And now Shamrock Rovers on the counter here. The dog were on the front foot, but now they have to get bodies back. Ronan Finn, Kavner arriving at the back post. It's a great ball. And almost the lead goal for Shamrock Rovers. Kavner. Well, he pounced at the back post, Super Bowl in from Ronan Finn, but Kavna unable to provide the necessary finish. Now some space for Greg Bulger, very little on, but he lifts it through, and that's a clever run from Ronan Finn, and Finn is in here, could be an opportunity, great defending by Gannon, almost an on-goal in the end, but what a let-off, a second of the game for Dundalk. The defence wide open. What's Sava doing out there? An awful mistake. Finn in. Looked like he was going to get the touch to it. But Gannon just got back quick enough to rescue it. McGrath lifting it forward for Hooven, who's in some space, just couldn't quite get it down. It was just a, a fraction too high. He had a, a support runner. Cleverly done by Robbie Benson. As Duffy in support. Looks for Duffy. Duffy driving inside the area. Hooven! Oh, off the crossbar! Desperately unlucky Dundalk, Patrick Huben. Here you see Benson winning it. Well, spots the runner Duff, he knows where he's going to go, in behind Boyle. Boyle knows he's going, but he can't deal with it. Managed to get the pop back. You see his body shape, he's actually leaning back as he strikes it with his right foot. Fortune for Rovers, it hits the bar. Lopez slides it forward, Shields just got a toe to it, and Adorian lays it back to Shields. Good football once again from the home side. Huben now looking for the run of Sean Gannon. Kavna trying to get back, lifted into the area. It's headed in off the post. Duffy, the follow-up from Huben, and it's blocked away by Lee Grace. Well, what a moment that was for Dundalk. Almost, almost the lead goal. Yeah, you see Gannon gets there in time, whips that cross in, great pace and height on and there's the header from Duffy. Kind of stupid, the header almost looked the perfect header. Down low by the keeper, hits the post. Sava has plenty of time to measure his clearance downfield, looking for Huben. Lopez stuck out a boost. Bulger managed to get away from Dorian initially, but Benson is onto it for Dundalk, and he's driving forward. Benson playing it through. Huben inside the area. Good save. Ball runs loose. It's in. It's Robbie Benson. Well, it was superb play by Benson. Surged through the middle of the field. Got away from Bulger. Slipped the pass in for Hillman. Inside his right foot from an awkward angle. Good shot. Keeper had to save it. Or battle it well away from the goal. He didn't. It stayed close to him. It was out of his hands. But he was forced in. Continued his run after the pass. And he's the first man to react in the head. Rovers defenders don't react. Bourne almost makes it. Magnificent goal from Benson. It's Sean Gannon, plays it forward now for Jamie McGrath. Lee Grace for company. Back with Chris Shields, and Shields with a cross towards the near post, and Horgan allows it to run. Oh, it's a disaster for Shamrock Rovers. It's gone straight in. Oh, my word, it's done dog two. Shamrock Rovers nil. It's another calamity for Shamrock Rovers. Well, that is a calamity. Disastrous. Chris Shields out in the touchline, just waits one. Across the penalty area. It's a disaster for the defenders. Letting it go. Grace let it go by him. No Dundalk player, really a threat. The dribbles in off the far post. Melee back to Grace. Away from Huben. And Grace lifts it forward. Now Carr is off and running. What can he do here? Keepers off his line outside his area. Oh, he did really well in the end. Gabriel Sava. just got away with it. Yeah, he got just away about with it, Adrian. It was a misjudgment again. He was out and he was in no man's land. He just about didn't run quite right for Carr and he managed to get a po get a poke on it. Well, they have the corner kick to be taken by Brandon Mele. And plenty of bodies inside the area as it's delivered. Yeah. A flick on and they've got a goal back. Dan Carr at the near post. Glancing header. It's 2-1 at Oriel Park. Great goal, Mila's ball in, whipped in the near post, Carr's been good in the match, I said that a couple of times, manages to get a header on the near post and flashes it into the far corner of the net, nobody on the back post, see here, look, lovely little Granson header, the dog had a player in the line, he kind of went over him. 
Bulger. Kavna. Ronan Finn. Back to uh, Greg Bulger. Bulger has seen a lot of the ball in this game away from Stephen O'Connell. But Shields did well to read that situation. Ethan Boyle nips in. And it's a good surging run from Boyle. And Shaw. Chance here for Shaw. Great save by Sava. Oh, that could be a big, big save to deny Gary Shaw. There's Boyle's run, slips her into Shaw, he's on side, tries to get keeper in the left foot, magnificent save. It's a long throw in from Ethan Boyle, seeking out a teammate to get it away only as far as Burke off the woodwork. The ball runs loose and Cleary is there to hook it away and Dundalk just clinging on a bit at the moment. So here we see it, the header out by Foland, down to ground, Burke, great shot there, he was just going over his head. Through his right arm, are they? You see it here, look. Through his right arm, are they? Onto the bar. This is it for Shamrock Rovers. This is it for Dundalk. Bulger with the free kick. High hanging towards the edge of the area. And Dundalk deal with it. And that is it. Full time whistle goals at Oriel Park. What a game. Utterly absorbing. Dundalk, the winners. Dundalk 2, Shamrock Rovers 1.